All right, so the first exercise is to create a user account in the Microsoft Intro Admin Center. So to do that, the first thing you'll need to do is head over to intro.microsoft.com, then navigate to users, select all users. Next, you're going to select new user. This will then give you an option to either select a and create a new user or invite an external user to collaborate with your organization. In this example, I'll be creating a new new user. The first thing you need to do is create the user principal name it will also be used as the email address. So for this example, I'll be using Jet Lee. And you'll also see it appears in the mail nickname section. So it's currently selected to derive from the user principal. You can also uncheck the tick box and change that mail nickname to whatever you desire. However, it's recommended that you leave it as the default. Then for the display name, you can enter the user's name. So I'll just type in chat. Lee. Alternatively, you can also add the company name in front. So I'll just show you what it looks like. So this is the name that will appear when the user signs into his or her device. Then you can either select, keep it as auto generate password. Um, ensure that you copy the password and save it in a safe place or you can create your own password and the recommendation would be to use a uppercase lowercase special character and a numerical value and then keep the password length eight characters or longer once you've confirmed all of these items you can then go ahead and either keep it as the account enabled or disable the account if you know that the user is only starting in a month's time. So for this example, I'll just leave it enabled and click next. Then under the properties, you'll type the first name, so Jet, last name, Lee. Then under user type, you can either select it to be a member as part of the organization or a guest that will only gain access to certain parts of the environment. Uh, guest access may be useful collaboration and so on but will have limited access to your tenant optionally you can also edit and create certificate user ids however i'm not going to delve into that into the session um, you can then also add the job title company name department you can also add the employee id type hire date office location contact information and anything else that you require as part of your company standard. But the most important thing is under the settings tab, you'll see the usage location. You need to select the location where you are located. For this example, I'm selected. In, I'm selecting South Africa because that's where I'm based. You need to select your location because your Microsoft billing will be applied based on this so if you select the us as an example and you're not in the us you'll be billed according to the us standard so your bill might be more expensive than somebody located in a place like south africa or brazil now once you confirmed um, click on next to go to assignments under the assignments tab you can add this user to a group or even add a role to it so for this example, I'll just be adding the user to all company and help desk as well. Once I've confirmed those groups, I'll click select. And then to add a role, I can just add one of these. Let's just check help desk administrator. So I'll add him to the help desk administrator. So as you can see, a short description. Um, this user can reset passwords for non-administrators and help desk administrators. Then I'll click next. I'll review all of the settings and configurations to confirm that everything is correct. And then select create. 